On 1011, every single Tesla vehicle that's already on the road today can become a can become a supervised uh, robo taxi. Um, until they can be autom until they're 100 automated, and Tesla owners can put their cars out there with them in them, or they can hire a 20 year old kid for. $20 an hour to be the person who sits Probably there. Probably has to be 21. 21. Okay, okay, whatever it is. And But anyway, so now you get the same data that you're looking for. Actually, better data because it's your system, your, your methodologies. You get that data with these supervised drivers and the Tesla owners get to begin to start their businesses and get a feel for the business side of it and how it's going to work. Uh, even though they're still using supervised. I think the business works completely differently in an unsupervised network than in a supervised network. I mean, my image of it is I'm not a nine to fiver, right? But you have a nine to five job. The car drops you off to work at 845 and you press the go make me money button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The car goes out and does rides. Mm -hmm. um, 445, the car arrives at the office, Right. Well, that's, an, that's the ultimate solution. I'm talking about in the interim, you have you have that same you have a, you have my situation, okay? Which is, I've got one. We have a, a Model Y. We're going to get a, a rob, I mean, a, a cyber truck. When we get the cyber truck, the other car is irrelevant. I don't need it anymore. I put it out all the time. I just let them have it, or I go buy a second one, and I just so there's, put, so there's two different own, types of owners. Yeah, there's the owners have a nine to five job, and there's the owners like you and me who are like. I'll run it. I'll run at six a.m. to midnight. I don't need the right. car. Yeah, yeah. So those can get um, started. Not and, and if I need a and if I need a ride, yeah, I'll probably just take some other robo taxi. Right. Let the car make money. Right. Right. Like this, it's it's actually you probably don't want your car to for yourself unless right. you're going on a trip. Like you might say, all right, I'm going on a road trip. I'm going to take my car out of service for a few. But then you do the math. I'm like, well, how much is it going to cost yeah, me to take exactly. the car out of service for the trip? <laughs> You know, I could just take a robo taxi there. Yes, yes. And another robo taxi back. I actually think that that you're going to own your car and you're just going to send your car out from 6 a.m. to midnight. And when you need to go somewhere, you'll just take a robo take taxi. A robo -taxi. Uh, and like I live at a transit station uh -huh. in, in Bangkok. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. So I'm not going to, I don't need a car. Like I've I, actually thought about buying a Tesla while I'm in Thailand because yeah. I do road trips. This is like like a little bit of a side note, but I'm we're, we roughly target doing one road trip a month. I think we're actually going to end up doing less than one road trip, like a week, a month, we go on a road trip. Uh -huh. Well, I can rent a Tesla for about $400 for a week or $500 yeah. for a week, let's say. Yeah. If I buy a Tesla, my car payment is like a thousand dollars a month. Yeah. But I only drive it one week a month. Right. So if I was, and, and if you understand Bangkok, and I think this is true of a lot of large cities, driving really sucks inside a city. And when you live at a transit station, you know, 90% of the trips you're going to take, like most of these, I don't even go anywhere. But if I go somewhere, in fact, I'm going somewhere after this conversation. Well, I take the MRT to Bangsu and I take the SRT red line to, I forget the name of the stop. And I hop off and the store I want to go to, I need to buy running shoes and size 13 double A, double E, whatever, um, is very hard to find in, in an Asian country. Oh, yes, I betcha. <laughs> so it turns out that Brooks Running Shoes has an outlet at this location and they have this particular shoe and the right I message them on Facebook or whatever and okay we have the shoe at this location and you know we'll have it ready for you and um I don't need a car to get there yeah there are places in Bangkok where it's awkward without a car we do occasionally drive somewhere but mostly it's like well why why don't we just go to this other place we can take the transit stop sure there. sure 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 we even have a boat like I I could show you but I, I'm looking at the Chow Phraya River yeah. and there's a boat service Ah, yeah. And it's like, I can go anywhere on the river for 50 cents. Yeah. <laughs> like the transit system is like, you know, buck and a half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's on the river. I can get there for 50 cents and it's actually sometimes quicker. <laughs> it's not super comfortable. It's not air conditioned, but it's covered. So if it rains, we're sort of covered. Um, so yeah, like I, I do think that there's a... a there's a class of owners who are going to be like, I'm going to buy the vehicle. I'm just going to put it out from 6 a.m. to midnight, bring it home to charge it at home. Um, but I think the vast majority of robo taxis will actually be owned by fleets. Mm -hmm. You have this whole question of how's the fleet going to operate. And so I think also because the robo taxi now, I think there's a value in what you say. 
and that people driving supervised Tesla robo taxis will go out and they'll be generating some of the similar data that you're talking about. Right. But I think it's really hard to make it work. I think creating that network, um, that 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 rideshare business is a real challenge. I haven't seen any hint from Tesla that they're doing it. Um, so I, I just don't think that's super likely. I don't want to say it's impossible. It's a definitely, you're not the only one to say it. Other people are saying they're going to do yeah. it. Oh, yeah, I, I know. Kathy, Kathy Wood has been pushing them to do a supervised robot, uh, supervised. Pretty, pretty, pretty much all. Pretty much all my co-hosts at this point believe it will be supervised at first.